Did you know that the first queer Mormon was a man named John C. Bennett? Well, him or Joseph Smith, depending on which source you want to believe. But John C. Bennett was the first case of homosexuality in Mormonism, then referred to as buggery. The case was first brought before Joseph Smith in 1842. And interestingly, that was not listed among the reasons Bennett was eventually excommunicated. My theory is that Joseph Smith didn't really have a problem with it. And one reason for thinking that is because Apostle Orson Pratt accused Joseph Smith of homosexuality in the newspaper The Wasp. And six months after Bennett's case was brought forward, Joseph Smith spoke on the reasons of why the city of Sodom was destroyed. The current Christian world today will tell you that Sodom was destroyed because of same-sex sex. Or what we understand as homosexuality. But in fact, even the text of the Bible disagrees with that. In Ezekiel, it says that Sodom was destroyed because of pride and idleness. And because they didn't help the poor and the needy. And Joseph Smith taught that Sodom was destroyed because they rejected the prophets. And that can be found in Wilfred Woodruff's journal. And another reason for my theory is something that Joseph Smith said. And you could just chalk it up to Victorian period friendship, but this is what he said. In speaking of the resurrection, Joseph Smith said, It would be upon the same principles, though two who are very friends indeed, should lie down upon the same bed at night, locked in each other's embrace, talking of their love, and should awake in the morning together. They could immediately renew their conversation of love while rising from their bed. Because so little was recorded during Joseph Smith's lifetime on this topic, it's hard to say what he thought of two same-sex consenting adults being in a relationship. But it's fascinating to look at regardless.